What's up guys, this is Nick at stridewise.com and this is the greatest day of my entire life because I am at Red Wing headquarters in Red Wing, Minnesota and I am buzzing with excitement. I've been fangirling all day and it's profoundly embarrassing for everyone around me but for me personally, I'm just, I'm, I'm walking on air at the, the official Red Wing headquarters with Mr. Mike Larson, the Director of Products Innovation. Design development manager, yeah. Design development manager. All right, we can edit that to make me sound like I know what I'm talking about more. <laughs> we are here uh, early, actually. We, we, we're we filming this now, but we're not gonna come out with this video until sometime in the fall, because what we're doing here today is getting a very exclusive and exciting sneak peek at Red Wing's newest product. The newest one that's coming out uh, fall 2021. And, um, you know, when I walked in here, I kind of went to look in the box and we thought it would be kind of funnier if I was first exposed to it on camera. So I literally have no idea what's in this box. It could be a giant dead possum. Um, you know, I'm sure they had make some great leather. Um, Mike, what do you want to tell us about this, this, this product? Yeah. Well, first of all, Nick, welcome to Red Wing. We're very happy to have you here, uh, visiting our town. We're really excited to um, show you some new product here in our, in our workspace. This is our showroom. Um, and yeah, we want you to open up this box and take a peek at one of our newest products. All right, I can't wait. Okay. It's an Oro Legacy Iron Ranger with a wedge sole. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. Um, Wow, it's funny, this is like, I have a pair of Rovers, right, which you guys, uh, which aren't currently being sold anymore. And I can feel, I know I've heard some people say like, well, that's just like a blacksmith with a wedge sole. And they find, I don't know, I've heard some people say like the Rover was like a little bit boring, but this is like really, have you ever put an Iron Ranger with the Aura Legacy type leather before? Yeah, this is actually kind of a, a mix and mash of our two most iconic styles. Yeah, Ranger, it is, right? Iron Ranger and uh, the Mock Toe. So um, we kind of did a mix and match, and this is the first time we're kind of really doing a traction tread all around welt construction on traditionally what's been a nail I guess it's, it's 360 degrees as well. Not Normally you do 270 degrees, That's right? That's right, yeah. What was the inspiration behind that? There's actually a lot of debate about this one. Is it more water resistant to have a 360 degree Goodyear well? Um, yeah, that's a good debate. <laughs> uh, not really, it's, it's, the, it's about the same. You're, you're ruining a lot of my videos where I've said that it is. <laughs> can, you, can you retract that statement for uh, me? Sure, yeah. I okay, mean, good. It's, uh, it does create a, a, a continuous you know, seam around the entire boot, so mm -hmm. there is a little bit more of a, a durable construction that way. Right, okay. Durability, all right, that, that sounds good. And behind us, Iron Ranger or the Oro Legacy Mock Toe, which, which one's more popular? Yeah, it depends. Um, it's kind of like what you prefer from a style wise. More traditional is a nail seat construction. Mm -hmm. That's more um, historical. Uh, traction tread is you know, a wedge platform. Some guys like it, some hate it. It's a uh, kind of personal yeah. preference. But like st like numbers wise, I mean, unless this is this is secret information, but like which one sells more? Uh, boy, you know, we sell all over the world and each market does has their different top 10. Uh -huh. I think Mach Toe would be higher in rank than Iron mm -hmm. Ranger. They kind of switch back and forth. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe that, yeah. It's a tight competition. So we'll see with this one what happens because they have both features. Why is this such an exciting boot? Like, it's just, because I've seen the Rover, I like the Rover, but it's not as exciting <laughs> yeah. this. I feel like the nickel eyelets have a lot to do with it as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because like the blacksmith and I believe the rover as well have like dull, uh, like dull gilt yep, eyelets, that's right? right yeah. I think what's happening is that with the Iron Ranger, um, something that I've often said about it is that like, the shiny nickel eyelets make it like a very firmly casual boot and like, you know, harder to dress up. I don't need to be trying to dress up an Iron Ranger anyway. But, um, and the blacksmith, some people consider that uh, more, more versatile and slightly more dressy because of the duller eyelets. But meanwhile, the eyelets on the 875 Mach Toe, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're shinier, right? Yeah, so it's like this combination of the shiny eyelets, I think, is casual. And on the Iron Ranger, the shiny eyelets like make it look like a nice, casual, good, you want to study, traditional sort of boot. But here, the shiny nickel eyelet sort of like enhance this uh, street wary angle to it that I never realized that the Iron Ranger had until I saw it with a wedge sole. Yeah. What can you walk me through the process of deciding that this is going to be the boot yeah. for fall 2021? Like, how, how did this come about? From a product development standpoint, we always are working two years out. So we started talking about two this years. boot, you know, quite a while ago. Um, and What's it called, by the way? What's the name of this? 
We call it the Iron Ranger Traction Tread. Got it, know? okay. Um, so it's describing basically what it is, an Iron Ranger on a Traction Tread. Uh, Red Wing came out with the Traction Tread design um, back in the 1950s. Uh, it's made by Vibram. It's been a staple of our line for the longest time in our, in our mock toe. This is crepe rubber? Uh, yes, yeah, blow-on rubber. This is the same rubber that's used on the mock toes? Yes. Yep. So the, the Red Wing crepe sole is made by Vibram? Yeah. Ah, mm -hmm. All right, yeah. learn something new every day. <laughs> so you designed the products two years out. What yeah. was the meeting like when you decided, let's fuse our two most beloved styles? What's yeah, the most we have a lot of brainstorming sessions. Um, a lot of ideas are, are presented. Um, we kind of narrow it down, create some concept briefs, float that around to some cross-functional uh, stakeholders, get some feedback, and then we go through the design sketching phase and the prototype phase. And at each point, we're kind of narrowing things down, come up with these. So. We kind of wanted to break some boundaries, you know, we've never done the Iron Ranger on an all-around construction. It's been a traditional nail seat construction mm -hmm. um, and then the traction tread piece as well. Um, and then under the hood, which we'll get to maybe in a little bit, is some new features that we are uh, introducing um, in our products. Let's get to it now. Sure. What's under the hood? Yeah. So. Again, the shoe is made entirely the same way it does all, all our good UL construction. We're just kind of swapping materials for something with uh, enhanced comfort. Um, something that will make, make it easier to wear right out of the box rather than having that intense break-in period. Um, so you look in the shoe, um, everything's looking normal so far. You see the insole. Um, but when you touch the insole, you'll notice that there's some cushioning. Mm -hmm. um, this is something we uh, are trying or doing in our heritage line now with um, the Chelsea that we did last season and then also with this product. Here is our traditional veg tan leather insole. Yeah. I'm sure you're familiar with this. Yeah. It has the ply rib on there, which we uh, welt against. Um, but in this shoe here, we are using this insole. Um, you can see on the cross section, there's three layers that, you're, that are exposed. Um, and what those layers are, first is a Texan insole. Mm -hmm. This is recycled wood. So it's sustainable material. It's very um, durable. It, um, you know, veg tan forms to your foot. This does that same thing, but it also um, has breathability aspects and other things too that make it a really good uh, material for making shoes with. On top of this Texan, we have a piece of foam. This is an open-celled uh, piece of uh, foam, and it has a good rebound uh, to it. Is it DVA? Uh, no, it's, uh, uh, it's from Poron. It's Poron. Okay. Um, and then on top of this, we have our genuine leather full grain uh, foot or cover. So um, you have, still have that premium feel against your foot, um, and you have that added bonus of the cushion underneath. All right, so it's the, the veg tan leather, but then you've also got Poron and Texan on top of that. Uh, that's right, yep. This Very is cool. actually a chrome leather, um, okay. uh, like a lining leather, full grain, aniline, um, and then uh, foam, and then Texan. And you went with chrome tanning, because chrome tanning is like softer and easier to break in? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, yep. so the whole idea here is to have like a less brutal break in than uh, Red Wings uh, that's can right. sometimes, potentially, maybe sometimes yep. make yep. you have. All right, that's. That's very exciting. And the Aura Legacy Leather, it's never been done in an Iron Ranger form before. Yeah, that's a, uh, this is the first time we're doing Aura Legacy. We like to conserve this leather and use it in very special occasions. Uh, the reason being is that this leather is uh, Triple H weight. It's really heavy and there's a limited supply of that. Um, this is also an aniline leather, so we have to grade it. And this takes our grade A, the best hide um, selection that there is. So it's very limited supply. Um, so we reserve that for 875 mock toe, um, and this time we're breaking out and putting it in the Iron Ranger. Um, this is a really hard leather or to cut in the shoe factory because you have to make sure all the color is matching between all the different components and all the scars are not you know, visible. So it's a very tough boot to make. Brilliant. All right. The Iron Ranger Traction Tread 8089. Yeah, and there's one other internal feature too that we're adding to the boot. Oh yeah, that, this, this is in the in the Chelsea as well, right? Yes, that's okay. right. Yeah, what is so this? our lining material for the vamp. Traditionally, we use either a canvas or a leather lining. This time, we're using a, a spacer mesh. So it's a foam uh, mesh material, um, and it really creates around the foot comfort. So uh, again, you know, traditionally, when you have a canvas vamp lining or a leather line, lining. 
um, there's a break-in period involved there. This kind of fits when you put your foot in there, uh, more like a, a sneaker in a way. So this is a really comfortable around the foot, out of the box. What's, what's it made from? Uh, this is a nylon polyester spacer mesh. Um, and there's a foam material in between, sandwiched uh -huh. between there. Uh -huh. And um, yeah, it has breathable, the, the mesh creates uh, airflow, um, so it's not as hot as uh, when you're wearing the boot. Wow, this is like a, a, a space age Iron Ranger. Yeah. I love it. All right, cool. Well, I love it. I'm excited to see what people think of it when it comes out. All right, well, uh, is there anything else you want to add or anything? Uh, I think we covered it all. That's a, that, that was a lot. All right, <laughs> cool, I love it. Well, thank you very much for your time, and there it is, your first look at the uh, Iron Ranger Mokto Baby. <laughs> thank you for your time. Yeah.